Mm. Hello, Raven here. I am back in Denver after a two week rites of passage ceremony um, initiating me into the middle world. And it feels so good to be back. Some of you following me on Facebook saw some of my posts about the last part of my passage adventure, which was in Philadelphia. And that city was a powerful teacher for me. I um, really got to see some of my novice skill sets with interacting with the wild animal of my species and really got to see um, a really dense, consolidated, urban way of living that's challenging for me. And um, <sighs> it was a teacher because it was um, a really hard city for me to be in. It was um, extremely um, flat and dull for me with not a lot of joy or connection between me and others or even witnessing it happening in other people. And it really kind of dropped me down into a sad place. And when I got back to Denver, I immediately felt better. My Uber driver was smiling and talking. The servers at the restaurant that I went to were joyful. Um, I came to the park next to my house and there are two eagles soaring overhead. So um, it, it shows me that there are definitely energy frequencies that I am more attuned with, more in harmony with, and wide open spaces and more natural environments tend to be more comforting for me. However, also, I do want to be able to better interact with the wild animal of my species in urban environments and be able to bring my crystal heart lighthouse practice into the wider realms of the world, into the middle world, as I set about my service um, intentions for this second adulthood that I'm stepping into. Philadelphia might have been an aggressive leap, um, maybe taking some smaller steps between <laughs> where I was and there might have been um, more gradual. However, sometimes I do just dive into the deep end and Philadelphia was that. And there are a lot of lessons that are coming through for me as I assimilate my experiences over these past two weeks and all the different elements of my passage adventure. However, what really comes out and poignant for me as I saw kind of the novice aspects of me is that um, when I was in Philadelphia, I did not use my tools. Uh, I didn't even bring my ceremony turtle with me. I brought a medicine bag but didn't use any of the items in it during any of my time in Philadelphia. Um, so it was such an onslaught to my nervous system and it was so depressing and it was so sad on so many levels. Really just kind of making it through the day was my focus. And I forgot that if I work my tools and I do my practice in those even kind of dissonant experiences, that's really where the benefit of my practice will come in. Yes, it's nice to work the tools when I'm in beautiful, loving, kind, peaceful areas such as this. And that's wonderful and that forms a foundation. However, it's in those kind of environments where those practice and those tools become ever more needed and necessary. So um, a mentor, a threshold guardian on my rites of passage um, was Philadelphia. So sometimes it's a person, sometimes it's an experience, and sometimes it's a city that comes in as a teacher for me and, and shows me and teaches me and inspires me forward on my path. It was full of agitation and it was full of dissonance and sadness and heaviness and I definitely needed to see that contrast and, and really better understand what I'm up against and what I'm part of as I step into this wider realm of, of my service and um, grateful for the experience. I'm grateful it was only four days in Philadelphia. I'm grateful that I'm back home and I'm grateful that um, I have tools that I can go back to and it's time to deepen my apprenticeship to that medicine, medicine and the magic of the soul. So, um, ha, 
Yes, yes, yes. There are lots of different holidays coming up for lots of people, all different kinds of religions and spiritual observations. And it's a really special time of the year where we start to even deepen our inward dive as the days continue to get darker and we inch closer towards winter solstice and the new year. And so however these holiday and end of year times land in your heart space, I, I send you love and I send me love and may we all journey in peaceful, kind, compassion passionate, powerful, authentic, loving ways. Mm, namaste.